praise the lord everyone welcome back to my channel um i know i've been gone for a while i have to give you guys a life update <laughs> the last time i posted on my channel i was pregnant well guys i had the baby she is currently two months old so you know the first couple months is just like juggling trying to come into a routine taking care of two babies now i have a three-year-old as well and now a newborn and so life has been different but i give god all the glory and praise for that um i do want to come back on my faith channel and i've been selling in the holy spirit like the holy spirit what i need to talk about because i know you have a ministry for me um but i want to tell you guys that god has led me into the ministry for the homemaking and god has been changing me and i've been going through a transformation in the past i'll say 60 days um, because I felt like I was lacking as a wife, as I was lacking as, um, a mother and not saying that I'm going to be perfect because we all fall short and we're not going to always be perfect at this. And being a mother or a wife doesn't come with a manual. However, I desire to be a better, not even just a wife. I don't want to even just put myself in that box of just that, but just an individual, right? And so I said, Lord, I have to do the inner work. I have to fix me because me and my husband, we were arguing more and then some other things. I'm not going to go into details was happening in my marriage. And I said, God, you gave me this marriage and I don't want to lose my husband. I don't want to lose my family. So I know I have to do some inner work. And so God had already been dealing with me with things I need to do. And now when I even read in my prayer book, God was telling me that my husband desired to become closer to me. And we were always kind of like close, but distant in the six years we've been together and we've been married for two. And so I was like, okay, Lord, this is the man that you've given to me and I'm the wife that you've given to him. And God's word says that wives submit to your husbands as to the Lord and husband has to love their wife as Christ loved the church. But were we operating in that? No. So um, I realized that it first ministry first starts in your home right? You have to take care of your home first before you can minister out there and win souls for Christ. Cause everything is for God at the end of the day. And so I said, well, God, how does that look starting my ministry in home? How does that look for me? And so for that means cleaning up my home for one, my house was always clutter and in disarray. Right now, it's still kind of cluttered because we got a few boxes in here, but that is way much better. And I wasn't keeping my home the way I was supposed to. And when I was going through that season of depression and anxiety, you know how they say that when you go through depression, like your home looks a mess. That exactly what I went through, y'all. It was a mess up in here, okay? So um, I started cleaning up. And then from cleaning, I started trying to take care of my kids a little bit better because I was like, I'm lacking. I feel like my kids are not getting the best of me because I'm not 100% of how I'm supposed to be. And so even from that, I even started taking care of myself better because I used to walk around here looking crazy, God, but that is not of God. I have to always look good for my husband, right? And so it won't make him want to just go out and commit adultery. Because his wife is not being the wife that she's supposed to be. The submissive wife. That homemaking wife. And I say all that to say I will be starting on my other channel. If you guys are interested, just let me know in the comments. I'll tell you guys about my other channel. Implementing more um, homemaking videos for Christian women. Um, being more modest and things like that. So God is teaching me in this season. And I'm still growing in it. I'm still learning through the uh, leading of the Holy Spirit how to be a better wife. And I've noticed my house has been peaceful peaceful no arguing i mean we probably bigger a little bit y'all but it's been peaceful in here because i've been submitting to my husband and when i mean submitting i mean submitting at a different level and sometimes i catch myself like i'll ask my husband a question and ask for his opinion because before i didn't even care for his opinion i'll be like okay i want to do this i'll tell him what i'm going to do instead of um, involving him in it and asking him for permission or asking him for his opinion. And I had messed up because I asked him for something so simple. I said, babe, I'm going to put the Christmas tree up. When should we put it up? He was saying, okay, let's do it after Thanksgiving when we come back from out of town. Because we went out of town for Thanksgiving. So a couple of days before we were going to leave to go out of town, I just took all the Christmas stuff out and put it up. And my husband came to me and he said, well, I don't even know why you asked me because you you're going to do what you want to do regardless anyway. 
And it, I got a conviction because it's like, I'm not honoring my husband. Even if, even though it's something so simple as a tree, it's the fact that I did not honor him. I did not include him in anything. We're not walking in oneness. And so I felt so much conviction because at the same time, the enemy was planting these in my head. Because I'm working on myself. I'm working on submitting to my husband. So the enemy is telling me, girl, pull out that tree, pull out that tree. So I keep having these impulsive thoughts of pulling out the tree and decorating, but not knowing this is a trick of the enemy. And I fell for it. And we all fall short. So I fell for the trick of the enemy. I pulled out the tree and started decorating the house and decking it out. And my husband felt like, you didn't even involve me. Why did you even an ask? And I just felt so bad. So now I'm being very intentional with asking him and not to say that you don't have a voice being a wife and things like that but it's just the fact that we are in one we're coming to agreement together we're making a decision together as a couple as a husband and wife as a family and so god's been teaching me this and i'm like thank you lord for the conviction now I can repent. Now I can try to redo things. Even um, our connection has been better. Like, it feels so different. I feel so close to my husband. It feels like too good to be true sometimes. Like, oh my God, this feels so different. Like, we just started dating. Like, it's that's how you know when you are in an equally yoked marriage and God-ordained marriage because it feels like I just met my husband. Like, we're on a different level right now. And I know it's going to get even better and greater by the grace of God and we keeping God centered and I, even when we go to church like we me and my husband had a big argument and not putting y'all in my business but I'm, I love to be transparent on this channel me and my husband had a, a an argument over an issue that we were battling with for the past six years in our, our relationship and into our marriage that I was in disagreement with and just for the lack of not going into too much details of our marital affairs um it almost put me in a place where I wanted to separate from my husband, where I wanted separation, not divorce, because I am in this for the long haul. But thoughts of divorce did come up. Separation did come up. And then my husband came to a place where he had to spend time with God and God had to show him some things until he realized I'm not trusting God in this certain area that I can't even get delivered from. And I don't want to lose my wife or my family because I can't let this go. And so with that being said, it wasn't even me. Like y'all, when it happened, I didn't even get upset. I just gave it to God and I said, God, you deal with this. And I just kind of gave my husband a quiet treatment, but then he started trying to fix it. Like he like, I know I need to fix this. He came talking to me, he apologized. I didn't want to hear it at the moment, but then it was like, okay, fashion, let it go. And it wasn't anything with infidelity or anything like that. I want y'all thinking that. Um, so after all that, we began to, um, we went to church and we went up for prayer. And then the, uh, the person that was praying over us, I know God was leading him in prayer because he began to say some things that we were dealing with, like the, the bitterness and the things that we were dealing with. And it was like, that was the Holy Spirit giving him those things to pray for us. So it was like a weight was lifted after we got prayed over. And then from there, like God has been leading us to become closer and we've been closer than we ever been before. Like, I love that man so much. Oh my gosh, that's my husband. I love him. And I just thank God for him. And I, even that it's been peaceful where we're not arguing and I'm serving my husband. I'm serving my children. I'm serving my family. I'm doing ministry in my home. I'm praying. I'm interceding. I'm warring for my family because this is the family that God has given me. My children are rewards. God says children are a reward from God. God, Children are inheritance from the Lord. And they, the fruit of the womb is a reward. That's the scripture. And they are my rewards. And I don't take it for granted. I don't take it lightly. And I thank God for the reward. Thanking God for choosing me. It could have been anybody else, but he chose me to birth such beautiful babies, to be married with such an amazing husband, to serve them to And serving in my home, it, it comes from spiritual wise, praying over my family and covering them prayerfully. And then also serving them is just taking care of them, being um, present for my children, you know, being very active in their life. Um, the serving could come in that situation, oh, sorry, y'all, I'm trying to adjust this camera. I'm holding the camera up and it's kind of, my hands hurting. Um, serving also is just cooking delicious, nutritious meals for my family. Um, just cleaning up my home and making it neat and tidy and making it smell good, feel like home, you know? Um, just 
being more present with my husband, like putting down my phone to just be there with my husband, just to be in the moment with him, to spend time, even have some alone time, you know, just, just being very intentional with taking care of my home and my family, being a better, better steward with what God has blessed me with. And so with all that being said, I just feel so good in my spirit. Even right now, as I'm talking about this, I feel so good. God has given me peace. He has given me joy. And like, even um, after I had my daughter, I thought I was going to go through postpartum depression. But by the grace of God, anxiety tried to rise up. Depression tried to rise. But now that I know the word, now that I overcome anxiety, I know how to cast it down and silence the voice. And I've been able to enjoy my newborn. I didn't get to enjoy my firstborn. But now I can draw my second baby because now I have been delivered from this spirit. And the enemy likes to feed lies to me to tell me that you don't deserve this peace and joy. But I do. And God wants me to have an abundant life. I am a child of God. I am not an orphan. He wants me to have love and peace. So I have to, to tell the enemy, you're a liar. I deserve this. You deserve this. And so that is my life update. I just want to give you guys an update and also let you guys know that serve your if you're a wife serve your husband 